Greetings to all of the people of the Most High God. This is Pastor Betty of Kingdom Life Christian Center with an audio prayer for you to know the will of God for your life. There are spaces in our lives where the Holy Spirit said that many have question marks. Your people, Father, are desiring to know your will for them and for every aspect of their lives. We are convinced that if you are here, that you have a need for this to manifest in your life in regarding the area of seeking God to know the will of God on every level. So we offer up this audio prayer to you to know the will of God as a prayer of agreement. And as we pray this prayer and you receive it, we know and we are convinced that when God people prays, that he hears them. And according to your word, you said that all of the plans that you have toward us are of good and not of evil to get us to your expected end, Father. And we know that your will and your plan is that we get to that expected end. For as the model prayer starts off with praise and adoration to you, it then goes to the next stance and says that thy will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So, Father, I first give you glory, honor, and praise. I adore you. I extol your name. I lift you up on high and give you my praise and adoration. I bless you, Lord, O my soul, for you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty. The one who covers himself with light as with the garment, who stretcheth out the heavens just like a curtain, who beams of his chambers are in the waters and make your clouds that you put in the sky. They serve you by you walking on the wings of the wind you make your angels ministering spirits of fire to be availed to your people father i come before you praying in the holy spirit as we always do once again lord open in the heavens i come to you petitioning you lord on behalf of your people Father, hear our prayer and attend your ears to our supplication. For you are the Lord who have set apart him that is godly in himself. And you will hear when we call upon you. Now I ask these things that you hear me. I am confident that you hear your servant's prayer. On behalf of Kingdom Life Christian Center, my partners, your people, and on behalf of myself. For we know that when your people pray, your ears is open unto their cry. I come to you, Father, today, interceding on behalf of your people, asking that you will help them and us to train our spirit to possess a continual ability to know your will. Father, I pray that your kingdom will come, your will will be done in earth as it been in heaven and in our lives. And that will is your plan, your decision, your desire your intention, your mind for us, your passion, and your wish for us. Father, I pray today that your people will learn to roll their works upon you and that you will make their thoughts and actions agreeable to your will so that their plans can be established then they'll succeed and not be vague, thoughtless, or foolish in their everyday decisions. Father, I pray that they stand being established and maturing 
and growing up spiritually, being fully convinced and assured in everything willed for them by you. Oh, glory to God. Father, thank you. We come before you to pray that your people, your church, your called out ones, and even those who don't know you yet will come to know you. And we pray that your people may know the will of the Father for their lives, for the lives of their family, for their ministry, for their businesses, for their relationships, for their future, and even in their finances. Father, I pray that they may pray your will, walk in your will, know your will, and agree to your will, and stand firm in your will, not bending because of any type of peer or cultural factors. Father, there are many who don't want to make the wrong decision, but instead of moving forward and seeking your will for them, they have become paralyzed. Uh, point them the way in the way that they should go and let them not become crippled by fear and anxiety because the road seems dim and the future seems very uncertain. Father, there are many that are in pivotal moments in their lives and they are at the cross world where critical decisions must be made and fear has now gripped their hearts. Not because they don't want to move forward and out in their faith, but it is because the road seems so dark that they don't want to make the wrong decisions. Being that a lot depends on them making that right decision. They have sort of what I call the modern day Gideon syndrome. Father, I pray that you will reveal to them your will. For we don't want to walk in your permissible will, but we would like to walk in your perfect will. For your word says that if we lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge you, you will most definitely direct our paths. Let your word then become the lamp that is on their feet because they stay in your word. And if they do, that lamp is there present. And in the dark times and when the road seems dim and the light is not so bright and they don't know where to go, they will trust in you and continue to move forward because why your word lights that path and leads them into the right direction. We ask, Father, that you would teach them how to tap into the frequency of the Holy Spirit, which is their personal GPS system, God pointing system, whose world you gave that the Holy Spirit will always lead us into all truth. And that truth is your will for our lives. Father, when the Holy Spirit speaks, I pray today that we are trained to hear his voice only and a stranger who calls trying to counsel us or to lead us. They will not hear their voice, neither will they follow them. Father, I pray that you would give them confidence in your care for them. Let them know that when it appears that you are silent, and far away to understand their plight when they cannot trace your hand of what you're doing I pray that they will trust your heart for them how would they do this by attending to your word meditating it musing it is my prayer until they are convinced and that nothing will shape the truth of your word father Help them to cast down the imagination that tries to tell them that they will never be clear about your will and plan for their life. Father, I pray for them today that they will meditate on the fact that you are a loving father 
And as Jesus was aware of your plan for his life, so can we. So we pray that the scripture says that in Luke 11, 11 through 13, if a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will you give for him a fish, a serpent? Or if he asks an egg, will you offer him scorpion? If them and if these earthly fathers being evil know how to give good gifts unto their children, help your people to know that you care so much more for them that the heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask them that would help them, assist them, undergird them, be their rear guard, and then will lead them into your perfect will. Father, I pray that they will be convinced of Jeremiah 29 and 11 that says for I know the thoughts and the plans that I have taught you says the Lord thoughts and plans for welfare and peace and not for evil to give them hope in their final outcome father I know that you hear them and you hear their prayer and their desire to want to walk in your will for you said that you will hasten your word and perform it in their lives. In faith, I confess that all blinders and scales are now being removed from their eyes and every earplug or blockage is removed so that they may hear and see your perfect plan. Father, I pray and confess these things now over them and decree it. First Thessalonians 5 and 18 in regard to your will in everything that they would give thanks, knowing that whatever is happening in their lives for this is your the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning them. I decree and confess Psalms 119, 105 over them that says your word is like a lamp that guides their steps, a light that shows the path that they should take. When the sun doesn't seem to shine, help them to look out on the horizon and see that just as sure as the sun goes down, that that sun will rise again even piercing through the darkest clouds in their life. And that sun shows them that the S-O-N sun is shining on the inside through the person of the Holy Spirit. The sun is giving the Holy Spirit the ability to lead them into the ways of God for he already knows the plan. I decree and confess uh, once again Proverbs three five through six that they will trust in you with all their heart for their for the will for their lives and they will not get involved leaning and taking charge again leaning to their own understanding but in all their ways they will acknowledge you and you will direct their paths in your perfect will i decree now that you will not be paralyzed child of god crippled limping or staggering around in life because we haven't tapped into knowing the voice clear enough via reading the word and listening to the voice of the holy spirit which keeps us in tune to god's will in the name of the resurrected lord jesus i decree today who has made us heirs of god and joint heirs with jesus christ causing us to sit down with him in heavenly places i decree as jesus was fully aware of the father's will for him it is therefore our mandate and the father's good pleasures for us to know his will and we will know it from this time forth in Jesus' name in faith believing father i decree and confess and thank you for your word said that it is your good pleasures to give us the kingdom. We are to know and to walk in your will. With that truth and with the authority you've given me in this office. 
I decree and confess that from this moment on, your people will know your will. They will know your will in regard to these things. The And it is not all inclusive. They will know your will in regard to where they should live. What projects they should take on. What career path that they should take. What school they should attend. How they should lead their family. They will know your will in regard to their next step in their assignment. And know the next step to take. They will know your will where and in what you they should be investing their money in. They will know your will. They will know the, the correct answer to decisions uh, that they have to make whether the answer should be a yes or should be a no. They will know your will in regard to whether they should sh join that group or that club. They will know your will in regard to what church they should be a part of and attend. They will know your will in regard to whether they should sign on the dotted line or not. They will know your will whether it's time to leave it alone or to endure with it a little while longer. They will know your will in regard to whether they should quit or stay. They will know your will in regard to whether it's time to hang on to it or to let it go. They will know your will who to allow in their circle. And they will know lastly that you've given me and the list goes on. They will know your will in regard to what counsel to seek in this last hour because deception that is at a all time high. So this things I decree and confess over them and in conclusion now we enforce your original plan your will over the in over our lives over and above what the enemy has willed for us we will do what you said we can do we will go where you said we could go we will have what you said we can have and we will finally we will finally hallelujah be exactly what you say we can be intentionally authentically and unapologetically before men so i conclude i pray that they will come to resolve and a determination that whatever you say that we will say yes to your plan and yes to your will knowing that it would lead us to success happiness greatness and to prosperity we reverse the effect of any paralysis procrastination and fear from not knowing your divine will for our lives and declare that divine favor grace honor clear sight and unclogged ears now replaces any and all negative feelings negative perceptions and thoughts concerning ourselves our families our work our ministry which we are called to accomplish and to complete we will perform it because we know clearly from this point on what your plan or your will is in Jesus name we speak it even if it doesn't exist as though it does. Father we pray and I conclude this with Hebrews 13 20 and 22. Now the God of peace people of God that bought again us from the dead our Lord Jesus that great shepherd of his sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant. I pray that he will make you perfect in every good work to do his will. Do his will. Working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ. To him be glory forever. Amen. So may the God of peace, the one who's the author and the giver of peace. 
He brought us again, you all, from the dead through Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of his sheep. Hallelujah. And that blood settles and ratified it. Hallelujah. For that New Testament, he's strengthening you, completing you, and perfecting you. So that what you ought to be, he has equipped you with everything good that you may carry out his will from this moment on. Now, if you are in agreement to this prayer, we want you to signify at the count of three with me because this is a prayer of agreement by saying amen. One, two, three. Amen. It is so and so it is. I seal this prayer in the blood of Jesus. Come against every backlash of the enemy in all of our lives against this prayer. We thank you that the angelic hosts have taken this prayer. And, and if there's a battle in the heavenly realm to make this manifest, we call on the warring angel Michael. As he came to Daniel, as Gabriel first came, but then he had to call for help. But we call on that warring angel to take this prayer and seal it so that it could be made manifest in the lives of your believers. We thank you. This has been Pastor Betty of Kingdom Life Christian Center, located on the northwest side of Chicago, Illinois. Once again, with your weekly audio prayer, tune in to this YouTube channel. Click on that playlist. If you just want to listen to audio prayers, there's a pl playlist on this channel with all of the prayers. L don't just listen to them, but partake and believe what you're praying. The power in prayer is believing what you pray according to Mark 11, 23, and 24, as we often and continually will quote, because it's power in that verse. Meditate those two verses until it becomes so real in your life, because the facts are going to come to, to battle against what the truth of the word is. But we can't focus on the facts and what is really reality. We got to get in that word, stay in the word, be convinced of this word, and know that the word is the final authority. If God says yes, that's what he means. No, nothing can nullify what God has ordained. We love you to our kings and queens, to all of you under the sound of my voice. I pray for you. I bless you. Go in Jesus name. Amen and amen.